In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how it is that you can analyze historical stock financials in one go, right on your Excel or Google Sheets spreadsheet. So the first thing that you need to do for this method to work is to get the company's financial statements. For that, we're gonna be using White Sheets, which is an add-on that works on Excel and Google Sheets and is able to pull all this data on a historical basis directly in your spreadsheet so that you can apply any calculations that you like so in this case we're gonna go with something simple but as you can see uh, there's a lot of different companies that are covered pretty much any public company that you can think of is covered here so you can just search for the company and then you can select whether you want uh, annual data or quarterly data and then you can just uh, click on get data and what this is going to do is is going to provide you with the financial growth metrics of the company and you can see this information is on a historical basis right here you can see all the different metrics right here uh, we also covered key metrics and there's a whole bunch of key metrics that you can really look at so in this case some of them are like the ev to sales we have p ratio return on invested capital blah 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 and again we have this information on a historical basis and then of course we have the key to this whole part which is the financial statement so we have the cash flow statement you can see it right here we have the balance sheet and then we have the income statement which is obviously one of the most important parts of the financial statements but now once you have this data i want to give you some really quick tips and i want to show you some other really cool ways to get the data and that includes how it is that you can get the data exactly as the company reported to the SEC. But before we get into that, let me just show you this quick tip. So one of the quick tips that I like is that you can just insert an empty cell right here and you can go on insert right here, click on spark lines. And I like to have either column or line. In this case, we're going to go with the column, select this data. In this case, I'm pressing shift command and then the right arrow click on OK and as you can see just like that we're going to be able to get spark lines of the different metrics that we want to analyze so in this case we have all the different metrics so now we can more easily visualize the direction in which uh, these various uh, numbers are going so this makes it easier for you to perform your analysis of course, you can perform any kinds of calculations that you can think of using Excel. So, for example, let's say that I want to perform the percentage change from one year to another in terms of the revenue. So you can see how I'm going to be able to do that right here. So as you can see, I'm just applying the formula uh, Now I'm turning this into a percentage, adding some more decimal places and now i can just drag this formula across and i can quickly visualize the revenue growth of the company now the other thing that i want to show you and this is what i said it was going to be really really powerful is that first you can also access quarterly data the quarterly data works exactly the same as what you just saw for the annual data so that's very powerful as well but the other really cool thing is that you can access SEC as reported financials. So for companies that report to the SEC, you can access the financials exactly as they were reported to the SEC, which is really, really powerful. So now we're going to change it up, actually, and we're going to access data for this company Salesforce right here. And we're going to access uh, for the year 2022 the annual data so you just simply click on get data again and as you can see right away you're going to get the income statement the balance sheet and the cash flow statement in this case let me just uh, share this with you so this is a little bit out of place because of the data that's included right here but this is very easy to fix all you need to do is just bring this down right here and now we have the financial data in a very digestible manner so as you can see, this is very cool because they report everything. So we have the revenues, total revenues, and we have a very accurate breakdown of all the different items of the financial statements. Here you can see how they even break down how the revenues of the company are generated. So we have total revenues, cost of revenues, professional services revenues, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we also see the notes that are included for these financial statements 
the balance sheet works exactly the same way so we can see how the company reported their items on their balance sheet and then we can also look at the cash flow statement which again we just have to bring this down so we can more easily see what's going on right here and this is very cool because it's a very detailed and very specific breakdown of the financial performance to this specific company which in this case is salesforce right here so i hope you enjoy this video and that you use this information so that you can analyze company financials in a very very powerful way and use this information so that you can make some great investment decisions